Harvesting a Christmas tree is a great holiday tradition for your family. Of course, you need to make sure you get your permit from the Forest Service, the BLM, or if you're going onto private property, of course, you need to get permission from the landowners. In Wyoming, we can find great trees, spruce, fir, and pine, and the type of tree you choose is really up to you. In this case, we're looking at a fir tree. When I look at a tree, I'm looking at, of course, the height of the tree. I want to make sure I can fit it into my living room. I like the open branching habit of this tree. You can see the layers of branches. The other thing I look for are branches that are well distributed around the tree, so it's not just a, a one-sided Christmas tree. In doing this, we're thinning out the forest and improving forest health. So we don't want to select a tree that is standing alone in an otherwise open area. What we're looking for is a tree that's growing too close to some of the other surrounding trees. Looking at this tree, I'm not going to use this portion of the tree in my home, but I don't want to just make my cut up here and leave the stump behind. When you do remove the tree, cut it down low. This is Chris Hilgert with the University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching From the Ground Up.